welcome everyone my name is hemu i am from cnets and today's we are going to discuss how to create a nick card in your vmware workstation because if you want to perform a different different type of lives or you need like inside interface outside interface dmz interface like server interface ha1 interface ha2 interface what you need to do you have to basically build you have to create some nick cards how we can do that so guys what i will do i will basically create couple of nick cards and how you can do that first let me just create these nick cards and after that i will explain you guys okay after that i am going to explain you so what i will do i'll go i'll just open my vmb workstation i'll go into this edit virtual network editor here you by default you can able to see sometimes by default sometimes you can able to see zero nick card like you can only able to see vm0 sometime you will see vm1 sometime you will see vm3 means sometime all three are available sometime maybe only one available or sometime maybe two available you don't need to worry about it you don't need to worry about it because what i am going to do i'll just go here and this vm net zero let me just remove all of them let's suppose you have blank now let me just add my first adapter which is vm net 0 and what i want guys i want this vm net 0 it will just get a virtual connection with my nick card because you know on my laptop if i'll type here ncpa.cpl to get the internet i'm using my ethernet adapter i'm using the lan cable i am using the lan cable for that maybe in your case you are using this wifi adapter right so what you need to do i have to basically i have to basically bind i need to create one virtual connection from here i will bind this or i'll do the bridging what i will do i'll this do the bridging of this particular vm net 0 which with my ethernet adapter if you are using wifi then you have to select wifi in my case i am using ethernet so i will just select ethernet adapter what i did i have just created a connection a one virtual connection means you can think like this i have this vm net 0 this is the nick card i am having i have another nick card here which is my ethernet nick card right and this nick card has a direct cable connectivity using rg45 cable we are using it has a connectivity with my home home router or my wifi router so what i did i have created one virtual connection and bridge means what generally this bridge used to do bridge connects two points together right i did the same thing bridge is like a switch in old days we have a bridge device and the updated version of this bridge is the route it is your switches what it will do means it just got connected with this particular home wifi or home router this is my home router this is my home router from where i am getting the internet it has a direct cable connection with this ethernet adapter and i have just created the virtual connection means now this this and this the all you like these this one and this one you can think like a similar one if you will connect any of your machine if you will put any of your machine as a bridge which means we just connected our machine with this router virtually and what you need to do because my router it is providing the ip address in this range 192.168.1.0/24 so what i will do if whatever vm i will put in this vm net 0 what i can able to configure the same subnet ip address and after that that machine will get the internet connection automatically even though if you will select the dscp option your home 
router it will provide the ip address via dscp as well to that machine so this is what i did with this bridge option i'll add one more and let me add vmnet 8 first I added this VMNet 8 and guys, I always configure this VMNet 8 as a net adapter. What I will configure this as a net adapter. I'll click on net setting or before that changing this net setting. What I want to do, I will basically go into the subnet IP range and I will configure 192.168.137.0 subnet here. Now I'll go into this net setting. And I will just change here 137, 192.160.137.0. Click on OK. You can go here into this. Use local DSTV service to distribute IP address to VMs. Means what I am doing. This particular NIC, this particular VMNet 8 can now also act as a DSCP server means my VMware workstation adapter number eight, which is VMNet eight can also act as a DSCP server. It just become a local DSCP servers. And if you will connect any of this machine, let's say you have installed one VM and let's say this VM you have basically connected with net adapter. Net means VMNet 8, right? Because you can see type is net, which means VMNet 8. That time, that machine, if you will enable DSCP, this machine will get the IP address from DSCP, and we will see this thing practically. Don't worry. So, what this option you have to select, and this option also you have to select connect a host virtual adapter to this network. Go to into DSCP settings, and here what I want. I want whenever anyone log in or when we will connect any of the machine, what I want, I want 192.160.137.10 and 137.240. What I want, I want if any of the person who is connecting, or let me just go in this way, 100 to 150 means whenever anyone who will connect his machines, what he will get, he will get the very first IP address from DSCP is 100. The next host will, will, will get 101 means these are the DSCP pool which I have created. Default lease time, this is the lease time and what I want, I want a default lease time which is one day. You can define the lease time another thing, but I'll go with one day. Click on the default lease time is, is the greater maximum lease time. So let me just go with zero. Okay, I don't want to change it. 30 minutes is fine. Click on OK. This is the one thing which you need to. These are the first two adapter you have to create VMNet 0 and you have to configure as Bridges. VMNet 8, you have to configure as Net. Now let me go here and I will create VMNet 1. VMNet 2, VMNet 3, VMNet 4, VMNet 5, VMNet 6, VMNet 7, I have created now one till seven. These are the some additional adapter and all these adapter VMNet one till seven. We have to go with the host only condition. We have to configure them as a host only. We have to select this option and we have to select this option. These check marks should be enabled for all these adapters. Now for VMNet one, what I will do, I'll go here and I'll just configure 10.1.1.0. Any machine which I will put on VMNet 1, I will configure the IP address from this range 10.1.1.0. And guys, what I used to do, this VMNet 8 adapter I will use as an inside adapter. For DSCP setting, also you need to modify 
one dot one dot ten till ten dot one dot one dot two five four. I have put here extra one. Click on OK. Now we will go with VMNet2 and VMNet2 we will configure like 10.2.2.0 and this is also like a host only in DSCP you can go here and you can change this value. 10.2.2.10 10.2.2.254 Click on OK. Now you can go into this VMNet3 and I will use here 10.3.3.0 in DSCP I will use 10.3.3.10 till 10.3.3.254 now you can go here click on ok now vmnet4 you can go here and you can configure 10.4.4.0 255.255.255.0 and 255 you can change these values as well 10.4.4.10 till 10.4.4.254 so guys this vmnet1 i'll always use as a inside vmnet2 i used to use as a dmz vmnet3 i will use as a as a server zone vmnet4 i can use as a like a guest zone or guest interface now this vmnet5 6 7 i can basically use them as a high availability interfaces ha interfaces okay and i will use the subnet here like 10.5.5.0 10.6.6.0 and here I will use 10.7.7.0 right I'm not modifying this DSCP settings because you know why I'm not doing that because when I will basically click on apply it will automatically modify these things in a backend according to this subnet okay let's let basically this is how you have to create these NIC cards now you can click on apply now you can see this is going on and you will start seeing the network replace start creating here. See, VMNet2, all these adapters, they are just created now. VMNet4 is created, one is created, right? Five is created, all these adapters will create here. So that's how we have to create the different different type of NIC cards guys now you can see as I have applied if you will see see DSCP setting has been changed automatically if if you don't want to do that manually you can basically use they will automatically change now I'll go here I want to search for a sniffer and let me just i want this software more frequently so i will use to basically take the screenshot of all of them oh, let me just take now click on ok and you can see guys this is my ethernet adapter i'm getting ip from this 192 160 125 now let me copy let me go here and let me just put this particular device here now guys what i will do this is my adapters okay so what i will do when i will install any of the vm let me just show you something 
let's suppose i have decided to create a lab okay where what i will do i have basically let's suppose i have installed this palo alto firewall now this palo alto firewall have couple of interfaces like it has a management interface m0 by 0 it has a one more interface like ethernet 1 by 1 then it has a ethernet 1 by 2 then it has a ethernet 1 by 3 it has ethernet 1 by 4 multiple interfaces are there but i will just denote these four so what i want now in this setup let's suppose i wants to connect this palo alto firewall interface this management interface what i will do i will connect with vmnet 8 adapter so what i will do i'll just change the type of the interface as a net and i'll show you this thing practically and on this because when i will change the type is net now in this interface this palo alto management interface i have to configure the ip address from this range 192.168.137.0/24 i have to configure the ip address from this range i have vmnet 0 and let's suppose because you know this vmnet 0 has a connectivity with my home wi-fi via ethernet NIC card right a home wi-fi router so what i will do let's suppose this ethernet one by one interface you wants to connect with this internet so what you have to do you have to basically change the type of this ethernet one by one interface as braised braised means we have connected our interface with the home wi-fi virtually and now in this interface, what we have to configure IP address into this range 192, 168, 1.0/24, and I will always configure 255 at the end for firewall, like 192, 168, 1.255, 250 IP address, because my home Wi-Fi providing the IP address into this range. Let's suppose your home Wi-Fi providing the IP address into this range 192, 168. 1 dot like 29 dot 0 slash 24 series that time you have to configure the ip range in this series if your wi-fi providing ip address into this range then you have to configure the ip address from this range basically okay so these things you need to remember now i have another interface like vmnet one and this is let's say this interface i want as an inside interface so I will basically change this interface as a like a second interface of that VM. Sorry, third interface of that VM as VMNet1. And I'll configure the IP address from this range 10.1.1. series 10.1.1.250. Same with Ethernet3. I will use this VMNet2. This is my DMZ. So here I will use 10.2.2.250 slash 24. So this is how we have to configure the IP and other things. And we will see these these bindings again, guys. Don't worry. Now, if you will see here, my adapter is created. I have this VMNet 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1. 0 you will not able to see because 0 is connected with this adapter. You can see VMNet 1 having IP to stand out 1.1.1. VMNet 2 IP address you can see 10.2.2.1. This is your VMNet 3 adapter 10.3.3.1. Then we have your VMNet 4 adapter 10.4.4.1. Then we have a VMNet 5 adapter 10.5.5.1. And why I'm getting this IP address because I have enabled the DSCP. So guys, this, this IP like 10.6.6.1, we will not use any of the VMs because this IP address is available on this adapter. Now VMNet 7, 10.7.7.1, then we have a VMNet 8. And here you can able to see 192, 168, 137.1. Now remember one thing, 
I'll go into this properties. Not here. Let me just do that. I'll go into my Ethernet adapter. Now, guys, what I want, I want to do one more thing. Because you know, generally this VMNet 8 adapter, I have configured as a net. And why I have configured as a net? Because I want to, I will use this adapter as a management adapter. I will use this adapter as a management network. And my management network also wants to reach till the internet. So what I will do, I will go into my ethernet adapter from where I'm getting the internet. I'll go into this sharing and I allow I will basically allow this VMNet 8 and I'll just share this with my VMNet 8 adapter. Means what I can do, my VMNet 8 adapter can perform the net and, and it will basically reach out to the internet using this ethernet NIC card. Click on yes, click on yes. What I did, let, let me just show you what is the concept of net. Let's suppose I have this VM. This VM has a has a part of VMNet 8. And this VM has IP address which is 192, 168, 137.10/24. And what I did, I have just created, I have shared this VM. I have basically shared the internet of Ethernet adapter, this VMNet 8. We have this Ethernet adapter. This is your Ethernet NIC card. Means I have made the virtual connection here. And this NIC card have IP address, let's suppose 192, 168, 1.25 slash 24. And it has a further connectivity with my home router. And after that, this home router further, ha it has a further connectivity with the internet service provider. And this internet service provider has the connectivity with the other part of the internet. Now, now if this machine wants to go, let's suppose this machine try to access this particular web server over the internet. And that web server, let's suppose having IP address 151.7.100. I am taking the hypothetical IP. So what it will do when it will create a packet, it will use this 192, 168, 137.10 as a source IP address and your destination IP address is 151.7.100. Now when this packet reach till this ethernet adapter, now this ethernet adapter, what it will do? Because of this technology called net, this VMNet 8 and Ethernet adapter, what they will do, they will do the netting. They will basically change this IP address with this IP address. 192, 168, 1.25 and your 151.7.100. Means they will perform the source net here. This IP address will be changed into this one. That's how the traffic flow for your net adapter or for your VMNet 8 adapter when we are reaching or when we are sending the traffic towards the internet, just remember. What this thing you need to remember, guys. That's how the communication will be there. And the main benefit, we will be having this machine behind this or connected with this VMNet 8 because this is a net gateway type of device net gateway type of adapter like if anyone from outside they they will try to come start communication with this machine this is not possible because they cannot able to reach this machine from outside but this machine can able to go till here when connection is stable is after that they can able to communicate easily but if there is a one PC here over the internet, if this PC wants to establish the communication with this machine, it is not possible because this machine is behind the net device and this net is doing the source net here. So that's how the traffic flow guys. So guys, this is the way or this is how we will create the NIC card in your VMware workstation. 
that's how we will create the NIC card in your VMware workstation. Let me show you one more time. Edit virtual network edit editors or virtual network editors. And from here, you can able to see all your NIC cards, whatever we have created. If you want to modify any anything, you can do that modification as well. So by this thing, guys, we have completed the second lecture as well, like VMware Nick card setup. Thank you, everyone, guys. And please subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. Take care. Bye.